Now let's look at the forward. And one name that uh, stands out for me is Mohamed Kudu. The fact that he has migrated from being a midfielder, so to say, to now being a forward. Is it, yeah. is it we are doing that he's not a goal scorer instead of just a midfielder? Yeah, I think Mohamed Kudu is a lot of things. But what I personally don't think Kudu is, is a number eight. I've never really fancied him as a number eight or a number ten. I think Kudu is a player who, because he has so many ideas running through his head when he's got the ball, because of his abilities, as young as he is, when he's playing too far away from ball, he overcomplicates things. He's taking too many players on. He's missing the pass, or he's not picking the right pass. He's over dribbling. Yeah. But when you play him close to the, the target, then it is quick for him to do it because when you've got the ball in and around the box, you are shooting or you are passing. When you've got the ball in a wide area, you are crossing or you are passing. But when you've got the ball in your own half or right in the first half of your opponent or in the final in the second third, which in and around the center circle, because of the skill set and ability he has and because he's very young and sometimes inexperienced, he overdoes it. So I think he isn't a number eight in my opinion, even though he's got the quality. He's one of those players that I think when he's aging and he's losing a bit of his pace and power, he can easily be one of the most intelligent number six. Like yeah, we saw Andrea Pello, like we saw yeah, like, Michael Kelly. You yeah, know, I think Rooney, Rooney at a point in the United was Rooney at, a, at, a point, yeah. at, at the moment, he's so hot and he has too many things about him to play him far away from the target. And that is why, even though Schroeder wasn't the best coach for Ayas, he probably is the best thing that has happened to Kudus and Ghanaians because he really has been able to perfect roles for Kudus in the final third of the game. So now Hertenga plays Kudus on the, on the right where he's close to the box, he can cut in or place him as the false line where he's effective. So I think at the moment, Mohamed Kudus' best place is not, not in central areas, but it is in the offensive end of the game where he can be quick with his thoughts. He can shoot quick in time. He can pick the quick pass. And of course, he's shown that he's a very good goal scorer as well.